<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Stop Fab Institute. Today is uh, Friday, April the 17th, 2015. And it's currently 5 a.m. and I am on my 38th day of no fab. No BMO, no nothing. I'm doing all right. I am doing great. However, two days ago, um, yesterday and the day before, I had uh, a little yakety yak yak. So um, it was natural, uh, missionary. Uh, just stick my wing in there, and then uh, uh, she just, um, you know, side to side, back forward, and uh, she arrived first, and I did last. So that's the power of NoFab, and gives you complete control. So. Yeah, um, I'm doing okay. Uh, today, I'm going to give a quick update. I went to the gym. Oh, uh, well, more fat than muscle. The muscle are there, but you know, it's pretty hard to see. Yeah, I mean, went to the gym, so working out. I run 0 0.27 miles again. Uh, I felt like I could have run more, but just leave it right there. So, um, I'd like to address one of the one of my video. I... Um, discuss and break down um so many of us fappers and fab student and men that the filth industry the hollywood industry had altered our mind to see women and their point of view which means that uh, women are supposed to be incredibly thin sexy and all that and all this unusual stuff uh and uh, he pointed out that it's natural for us that Women are attracted to women with big breasts and big booty, which is true. Um, I have no problem with that, which is true. I myself, that's my standards, that my, that's my preference. But I was trying to tell guys that when you're going to date a woman and you have like specification, you're going to have a problem. You know, you, when you have, you specify for that woman to be exactly as you want it. You know, just like some women when they are dating a man, okay, I want this man to be six foot four, six foot five, I'm attracted to tall men, and I want this man to have nice teeth, nice smile, and all that, and, and you know, and once you get this man, you go home with him, have sex, couple of months, you find out this man is a jerk, so you didn't ask for personality, you didn't ask for um, a good standard, but you just asked for physical uh, specification that's what I was trying to tell you guys stop fantasizing and asking about physical uh, uh, specification if you want if you don't have a girlfriend right now you want a girlfriend just go with the flow all right just relax go with the girl that you find and then if it's not working it's not working stop looking for that incredibly hot women most of you are suffering from the delusional hot woman syndrome you guys need to get rid of that so um, <clears throat> that's one of the uh, thing I was uh, um, discussing in the video. Uh, my second point I want to point out is just the NoFap challenge. Uh, why is the NoFap challenge is not hitting millions? I mean, the porn addiction, the fap addi addiction is literally affecting millions, if not billions of us men and women. Why is the no fat challenge, challenge is not reaching at least a million people on YouTube right now or any social network? Do you want to know why? Me personally, I think because it's, it's of this generation, my generation and, and the generation that's coming up. We are a bunch of buffoons. All right? We like to do buffoonery. If you look over on YouTube and Facebook right now, all you see buffoonery. Uh, we, we're making pranks. That's what we do. That's the new thing on YouTube right now, pranks. And when when it's a challenge that can change people's life, we don't want to get involved with that. We want to get involved with the stupidest thing. Let's talk about one challenge. Putting ice water on you. Can you imagine millions of millions of people are pouring water on, this, on, on themselves for some type of disease I cannot fully remember. But most of them did it to get attention. Most of them did it because it was easy. Most of them did it 
because their, celeb their favorite celebrity was doing it or any kind of goddamn celebrity was doing it. And you even have girls with extremely large breasts wearing thin shirt and they were doing it so that, that I don't want to send any trigger so their nipple could appear. So a lot of people start doing the, the ice water challenge. Why are not they doing the no fat challenge? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an addiction. It's a good challenge. It's very challenging. You know, it's a challenge. It's challenge. It's very hard. That's I myself. That's the hardest thing I ever done in my life. The no fat thing. I never done anything harder. Losing weight that was easy, but no fat, dude. It's not like. Crack cocaine, you can abstain. If you don't have any money, you, you, you're not going to get high. That's not like that. Fapping, you don't need any money. You don't need nothing. All you need is your hand. That's the thing. We are a generation of buffooneries. And many people are confusing buffooneries and comedy. Some say, okay, this is comedy. No, it's not. There's a big difference. You see, comedy... Is when a man is walking into a, a open sewer and die. That's comedy. Buffoonery is, is like one of those young guys walking down the street with a, a, a sex toys in his hand and chasing people and then actually uh, um, trying to performing all sex on that sex toys and thinking it's it's comedy. That's buffoonery. That's idiotic. That's why the no fap challenge cannot reach. I, I, it will. I, I trust me. I would say two, three years from now, the no fault will reach at least a million. I will make sure of that. But that's one of the reasons it cannot reach because it's not buffoonery. It's serious, man. The no fault challenge shit is serious, man. You think this is something you can come in over here and then do and then you have millions of you? No, that shit is a journey. You know, your ass have to stay and pay for it. You know, so that's why the no fault thing cannot pick up because it's not buffoonery. You know, that's what we see all over. It's buffoon away all over Facebook and and, and, and um, YouTube, all the social networks. People are spending 6, 15 seconds, 30 seconds making buffoonery. But most of them will not do the no fab challenge because, well, first of all, they will say they are embarrassing of, of, of telling people about their addiction. But they are not embarrassing of embarrassing themselves. You know, that's why the no fab challenge haven't been picked up. It's not buffoonery. It's not so-called comedy. It's serious, man. Shit is serious. You know, so I want you guys to keep up, man. Keep up your mind. That's your greatest, that's your greatest challenge right now, your mind. Everything you're going to experience, your mind going to trick you. Do not fail for it. That's, that's your biggest enemy and also your biggest ally. Fight it, man. Don't give in to it, man. Study your blueprint, which means your relapses. Your relapse is your blueprint, man. Study them. Your relapse is the key to get out of your, your addiction labyrinth. Your, your, your relapse is, is actually the map to get out of your addiction labyrinth. Use it. Stop Fab Institute. I'm on my 30th day. See you guys next time. Yakity yak. <laughs> I got another date though <laughs> with my girl, of course. So we are going to get a little yakity. Yeah. All right, man. See you guys next time.